Okay, two new things I'm noticing here in the inventory screen. So the little meter I keep seeing that I'm getting progress towards says to next skill point. So we're going to get skill points. So there might be a skill tree or something. And also bottom left corner there, you can really get a feel for how long that health bar is going to get when you see that there's a giant square just dedicated to my health bar. And my little health bar is just so tiny over there on the left. So I guess there's going to be a lot of health bar. Yeah. 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 Huh. Yeah. That's what I want to try doing. Is jump th hooks. Badoof. Look how cool I am. Anyway, this guy's dead still, right? Because he was a big boy? Yeah, the big boys stay dead. Very good, handy thing to know. Ooh. Uh oh. There we go. That's better. There we go. I'll take more of that for later when I find out what to spend that currency on, besides every 10 of it being worth a shuriken, which suddenly I have 15 and I don't know why I have 15. Ooh. Iffy about this. So I want to sneak up on that guy probably, but there's definitely, he's definitely going to be facing the direction I grapple to, which is not great for me. There's a couple guys down here. Oopsie. Oh, hey. Oh, shit. Don't look over here. <gasps> oh, it's time to duck. Maybe hug the wall. Ultimate stealth. Two guys up there. There's a whole patrol. Going like directly under me or something? Where'd they go? The stairs over there, okay. Wow. I was not prepared to see that caravan come by. The Mibu Balloon of Wealth. A Mibu Balloon filled with fountainhead water, imbued with a blessing of wealth. If one pops the golden Mibu Balloon and prays, those its water splashes upon will acquire more coin for a period of time. Mibu means aquatic life or life born of the water. The Ashina considered the fountainhead water itself to be worthy of worship. Hmm. So squish this to farm, basically. Uh-oh. 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 Uh... Somebody done spotted me. That's not good. Who did that? Who was it? I, I'm not mad. I just want to punish you. Oh boy. Oh, he sees me. Oh, he sees me. He's... Oh no, that's not what I want to press. Hi there. Gah. Okay. Not my best move. Whoop. We fighting? Or what? Down you go. I said down you go. There you go. <laughs> Attracting a bit more attention than I would have liked. Uh, hey, big guy. What the fuck? So, yeah, there's, there's just giants in this game, of course. What in the world? Like a baby. Yep. Get him. Okay, and they didn't notice me? 
Okay, so you can stealth attack those guys too. So bizarre how huge they are. Maybe they acquired so many souls they got bigger. Oh! Bad stealth. <laughs> bad stealth spot. Die. Hey, buddy. There we go. So many bad guys. So little sword. But I'll find a way! No, 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 no. What? Oh, no. Is this like a I fell off a cliff checkpoint? It's not a good one. I'm alive. Okay, no, I was able to get out of that. Apparently. Oh boy. Shh. You can't see me. I'm invisible. I'm hiding behind the wood. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay. Using quick items. I understand what the quick items are. Ooh. Oops, I just accidentally used the sugar when I meant to use this. Crap. Oh no, I misread my interface. So some ga so there's some games where you navigate your items via D-pad, and you can see one item in the middle, which is the currently selected one, and that's the one that'll be used if you press the use button, and then you can press the D-pad to switch between them left and right. And right now the interface looks kind of like that. It looks like my currently selected item is my shuriken, and then to the left, if I, if I press left, I'll get to the gourd, and if I press right, I'll get to the crosses, I guess. Uh, so I pressed left, and the, so even though the gourd was already selected, I pressed left and then up to use the gourd, because I wanted to go left to it. That's how my brain read the interface at a scan. Uh, but no, that just meant switching away from the gourd and using whatever was next to it at, at random, which is not a good strategic choice to use a random item and see what happens. But there was a little stance they talked about. You can go way the hell up here. Yeah. So generally speaking, uh, not my most impressive moves lately, but I am alive. We also found out what happens when you jump off a cliff, which is that you don't instantly die like in Dark Souls. Instead, you kind of respawn. I think I probably lost health. But you just kind of respawn somewhere b that you hit before you died. Which in my case was a weird chunk of rock that I landed on that I'd platformed off for a second, and the game read that as being that it's a safe place to land, which was dangerous, because it might have not been true. It could have been that that was that there was no way to recover from there, but maybe the game knew that there was, because I was able to get back by uh, grappling to that one spot. There are a lot of grapple points. The fact that there are so many hanging off of ledges might even be for that specific reason. Because like, these chunks of wood look out of place a, a little bit. They're weird. Hi. Are you NPC or enemy? And you're an NPC. Inosuke ka segare yo wakasama o minakatta ka no. Nanja damatte shimotte hara de mo itai ka no. Sonata wa mukashi kara hara o kudashi yasukatta na. まあ、よい。せがれよ。この鈴を。そなたに託そう。若様のことを暗示。作った守り鈴じゃ。この守り鈴を。仏様にお供えしておくれ。Young Lord's Bell Charm. A bell charm received from an old woman who asked if it could be offered to Buddha. Bell charms protect their holders throughout Buddha's divine protection. If one finds themselves in the owner of another bell's another's bell charm, offering it to Buddha on their behalf is common courtesy. The sculptor at the dilapidated temple can advise you on how it should be offered. I assume you offer it to that little statue at, in the corner that he says is not his. Inosuke, waga segareyo. 
守り鈴は仏様に備えてくれたかえほら偏屈な仏師がおる荒れ寺があるじゃろう仏様ならそこにおられるでな All right, so I need to find my way there and offer it, and we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll get a- oh, maybe that's how you get memories. I kind of thought they'd be tied to boss fights. Die. Oh god, there's two of them. I've been had. Why is this- Why is this game of super chickens? I don't understand. Oh, I have a skill point. Ooh. Ooh, I'm robbing the shit out of her house. I robbed heirlooms that she did that for, of her family by pretending to be her son. And now I'm robbing her actual wealth in her basement. Admittedly, she seems to not be aware that half of her house is missing or that I'm not her son. So I don't know how long she's going to last regardless. And apparently we're not going to be doing anything about that. Oh, hey. Oh, no, is that the sun? So, I wonder if it'll help him if I offer it to Buddha. I also wonder if I should keep going forward or if I should backtrack and deal with this now. I wonder- I don't know. If I keep going forward, it's gonna be hard to come back. There's, there's like guarded gates around here. This looks- this whole area is pretty easy to traverse, actually. Oh, hi. There's another guy. <gasps> Gun boy! You did me a bad. Die. Oh, that went through his forehead. He doesn't have a face anymore. I removed it. Look how many directions there are to go. Like there's an alternate path. Is there a grapple point though? There's one down there. There is an item down there. Maybe that'll be my path next time. Oh, I can sneak through this back path to get to the corpse guy. The corpse guy? Oh no, that's a horrible thing to call him. The dying guy faster. If I jump down off this ledge probably. Here we go. So, this is where I was trying to knock him off before. So if you drop down there, it actually leads around to the guy with the gun that spotted me in the first place. That's interesting. Ah, uh, why do I... I always just so naturally think that right trigger equals grappling hook for some reason. I'm afraid to remap it though. Especially if I start turning uh, my... My shinobi thing into 
especially more combat oriented things, like I'll, I'll definitely want it to, be, it to be a right trigger in those cases, I think. This is a... We're essentially still in a prolonged tutorial of sorts. We're slowly getting into more complicated stealth scenarios with more enemies and learning and encountering new dudes and so on. But at the same time, I am gradually getting a new mechanic introduced like every 10 minutes basically, or a new item type. And kind of looping back. Oops. Nondo. Shinobi Esoteric Text A book of secrets that details a variety of techniques employed by Shinobi grants the ability to learn Shinobi style. Within the text are the innermost secrets of the Shinobi art, such as attacks performed in the air and hiding one's body to avoid detection. Such moves could never be practiced by samurai. Get fucked, samurai! I'm guessing that's how I spend my skill points. これを Owning an esoteric text of a combat style will allow its skills to be acquired in the sculptor's idle skill menu. Each enemy defeated provides skill experience. Skill points are acquired one, uh, once enough experience is gained, which it can be spent to unlock skills. Some skills can be learned by obtaining items or defeating enemies. Okay, so there are leveling mechanics, but it's not necessarily... That, of course, doesn't make something an RPG, because that's... Uh, that's the same level of of leveling mechanics that's in like a Batman game, for example. Uh, RPG mechanics with it with air quotes over it has been basically just a universal mechanic in all video games basically for a while now. Meotsuburi. <laughs> Suzunokoe Whoa! Hello. Okay, these do levels. I also, I technically forgot to ask him about... I technically forgot to ask him about the, uh, bell. I got sidetracked by the 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 instruction manual thing popping up. And I forgot to I talked to him a second time to ask him about the bell because there might have been dialogue about that. No, I used the oh right, I have to do it at one of these guys. Let's look into what I can buy. Acquire skills menu has been added. Yeah. Whoa, hello. Acquiring skills. New skills can be acquired by spending skill points in the skill menu. New combat styles can be lear uh, learned through obtaining esoteric texts for each style. There are three types of skills. Combat, shinobi, martial arts, and latent skills. Combat arts must be equipped to be used, but shinobi martial arts and latent skills are always in effect upon being acquired. So they're passive things, basically. Or they're things that just are new buttons as opposed to something that you probably have to equip in a slot. Whirlwind Slash. Available for one point. Okay, so I don't have these yet. These are, the, these are just the ones I can buy first because they're on the far left. 
It says Shinobi Arts on top. Does that mean that these are all Shinobi Arts? Acquires combat. Nope. It's not a Shinobi Art. Uh, acquires combat art Whirlwind Slash. A spinning attack that can hit several enemies at once. The sharp cut combined with the force of the spin can strike multiple foes and deal damage even when guarded. Once surrounded by enemies, this shinobi technique can cut open a path to victory. Just press both buttons and you go into full link mode. The Makiri counter enables one to counter enemy thrust attacks by stomping down on enemy's weapon, dealing a large amount of damage to posture. Yeah, that would that would screw their posture. It's nearly impossible to perceive the speed of the thrust, but not for sharp eyes of a shinobi. Hmm. So you press B instead of counter during the thrust, and you stomp them. Probably very effective against some of these dudes. Uh, there's one way at the end here. Unknown combat art. Oh, these are all unknown. I don't get to know what they are in advance, so I don't get to plan ahead on the tree unless I look things up, which I won't. Let's just get the whirlwind slash. It's worth one point. Makes sense. A shinobi's karma body. Increases maximum number of spirit emblems that can be held. Spirit emblems are manifestations of regret. Those regretful of their vile actions are haunted by many spirit emblems. Shinobi who have killed many must bear the physical toll of those sins. Oh. And apparently use them to throw cool nunchucks. Or, I mean, uh... Not nunchucks. Shuriken? There we go. Midair deflection. In midair? Allows one to guard against or deflect enemy attacks in midair. Guns and other projectile weapons deal additional damage to airborne targets, and this technique can serve to prevent that damage. A shinobi is not shot down so easily. Hmm. So you can attack... You can you can counter all attacks in midair, but also specifically like deal with the projectiles coming your way. Okay. Combat arts are special attack skills based on the strengths of the fighting style they belong to. They must be equipped in the equipment menu and can be learned from the skill menu or found in the esoteric texts. Hmm. Do you hold LB and then press right bumper? But I have to actually equip it. Only one combat arc can be equipped at a time. Damn. And of course you can just kind of keep going too. Okay, and here's the block that I've not really ever been using. Except, on, except perhaps an accident. Which has probably led to me thinking that the window is more open for the deflect because they gave me this. Hello. Oh, this is a big old zone. This is interesting. I'm not necessarily done with the previous one yet. Uh, we gotta look for a way down. Do I have a... So it's three years ago, but I, I am me as of now. I have... I still have my arm. My prosthetic arm. But it's also not... I also, I'm also not clear on whether this is my memory or this other person's memory. This is intimidating. I think I'm supposed to jump off. And catch me! Whoop! That's only kind of terrifying, huh? It really makes you feel like Spider-Man. Oh. Hey, I saw your corpse, I think, before, but it was actually a corpse.
今は幾年だ何をおかしな教えてくれ流線モーデの年であろう<笑>流線モーデ3年前かどういうことだ武士殿は古い記憶と言った何も覚えてはおらぬがこれは過去ということか His, his spine melted the moment he died. This is three years ago. No, it's the last thing you want to hear from somebody, and then he died. Uh, last thing you want to hear is like, is he, him being like, You must save him. You are our only hope. What year is it? <laughs> like, that's not, that's not the response you want to hear. Like, oh no, we're doomed. He's useless. The only person to find me in this moment is a madman. Just want to see if there was anything stashed back here, but I don't think there is. Okay. Whoa! Giant fish. Look how high its tail goes above the water. Is this supposed to be like a massive koi? All of the animals in this game are really bizarrely proportioned, except the wolves that were just smaller than normal? Or they were dogs that just had wolf colorings. Those are actually small for wolves, I think. Dowsing powder. Medicine for treating burns. Heals the burn status. Abnorma abnormality. <laughs> That's what I would call burning. Being burned alive. That's a status abnormality. And for a time, decreases burn buildup. Oh... There's a burn build-up meter. So status effects are also a weird meter that builds up and then triggers when it finishes being built up. So a lot of, yeah, a lot of mechanics that are familiar here. Increases burn resistance, reduces damage from incoming burn attacks. When fire is used in the battlefield, dousing powder is crucial for survival. So let's, uh, let's uh, equip that. Let's uh, equip that. That sounds like a, whoops. That sounds like a warning of a thing that's gonna have to be something I deal with soon. They also clearly have torches, so I guess that's where the, the burning comes in. You guys hide anything down here? Oh, can't I just... I can probably just go in the water. Except there's a giant fish that I'm a little worried about. Oh, it's noticing me. Oh, no. Come here. I want to see it come after me. You coming and get me? What? That's not what I expected. Huh. I was trying to figure out if it would attack me like a shark or something. Interesting, it ran away. Maybe that's also what the chicken would do? Maybe the chicken was also gonna run away when it noticed me. But it didn't get a chance because I keep killing it. Because that guy... Apparently is not aggressive. What is up with this guy's armor? He really is just running around with shin guards and... A fundoji. And a sword. Like clockwork orange over here. Doop. You see nothing! I said you see nothing! Nope. I want to be on fire.
plain oil. When the jar breaks, the oil covers everything nearby. Enemies doused in oil are easily set alight, causing them to take additional vitality damage from fire attacks and making them more vulnerable to the burn status abnormality. We have the fire oil. Familiar. Now I'm curious. That thing that thing runs away and then despawns. That makes me think you're supposed to kill it. Like the uh, crystal lizards. Maybe you're supposed to track down Koi and get him. I thought that was real. I totally thought that was a real turtle for a second there. With its weirdly long neck. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Yuck. Not sneaky enough. No, 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 That was not a good sight, seeing three of them coming my way. <gasps> That's not what I wanted to do at all. Am I in danger right now? Oh, there's an item all the way back there. I wanted to see if I could hang off the side. It didn't work. Oh, hey, he's back. Grab it? He won't grab that ledge. 